Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining uh, the one particular sum that I mentioned here. That is 452 minus 989. We are subtracting a larger number from a smaller number. Hence, we will have to use the subtraction borrowing method here. I have already created uh, some videos explaining subtraction borrowing method with the help of different examples. I have provided the link of all those uh, videos playlist in the description below. So please do check it out for additional uh, practice or better understanding. Now let's check out how to do 452 minus 989 here on the abacus. Okay, so we'll start with the first number which is 452. Okay, these are the, just two numbers, but I'll still proceed with the regular method, regular procedure of uh, subtraction borrowing method. So I've taken the first number, which is 452. Now to subtract 989 from this, <coughs> what we uh, can see is we don't have enough uh, beads available on, here on the hundreds place and we don't have anything on the further rods as well. So what we need to do is we need to borrow one on the next left rod. So we are falling short of beads on this hundreds place. Hence we'll borrow one on the next left rod. Okay, I borrowed one on the thousands place. Now, in order to remember that we have borrowed one on the thousands place, I'll mark it on a different set. So this is the borrowed set that I'll be using where this will be the units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place of the borrowed set. Okay, so this is the thousands place. So I'll mark one here just to make note that we have already borrowed one on the thousands place of our calculation set. Now we'll start with subtraction of 989 in regular fashion. Okay, so the regular procedure for 989 subtraction from this will be to subtract 9 on this rod that is the hundreds place. I will have to use the combination formula of minus 9 which is plus 1 minus 10 and for plus 1 I will have to use the small friend formula of 1 which is plus 5 minus 4. So plus 1 and along with that I'll do minus 10 here. Subtraction of 9 on the tens place, uh, sorry, hundreds place is done. Coming to the tens place, I need to subtract 8, which can be done using plus 2 minus 10. So plus 2 and minus 10 on this rod. So which can be done using plus 4 minus 5. Okay, so subtraction of 8 on the tens place is also done. And on the units place, I need to subtract 9, which will be done using plus 1 and minus 10. So subtraction of 989 uh, from the given number that is 452 along with the borrowed 1000 is done. Now this is not our final answer. To arrive at the final answer what we need to do is we need to subtract this number that we can see here from this bo borrowed set. Okay whatever we have on the borrowed set. So the number that we have here is 463. Now this 463 needs to be subtracted from this 1000 to arrive at our final answer. I'll show you. So subtracting 463 here, what we can do is we'll start with the third rod. Subtracting 4 will be done using plus 6 minus 10. On the tens place to subtract 6, what we can do is subtract plus 4 minus 10. And on the units place, I need to subtract this 3, which will be done using plus 7 minus 10. Now the final answer that we have for this particular sum that is 452 minus 989 the final answer is negative 537 okay minus 537 this is our final answer and this is the way that we need to we can use the subtraction borrowing method in any situation now in this particular sum the uh, Subscriber had mentioned only two numbers, but we might need to use the borrowing method in a running sum that is which has many different numbers and we could be needing to use the borrowing method in one particular stage at one particular stage during that sum. So we need to know this method to use the borrowing method properly. Okay, so I demonstrated the borrowing method in this uh, video. I hope you understand it and practice it on your own as well. And for better understanding, please certainly do watch the other borrowing method videos that I have uh, given the links to in the description below. Okay. Any further difficulty, please do write to me. I'll try and explain it in further videos. Thank you.